Obsidian is not a journaling app, but with a little bit of tweaking, we can turn it into one. So this is a new vault that I created just for this video. And this is what happens when you first download Obsidian. The thing I would recommend is that when you create this vault for the first time, you should create it either inside a Dropbox folder or a folder that syncs to Google Drive because that is how you get a cloud backup of your own vault. So once you do that and you come into the vault, the first thing you should do is create folders. So let's create a folder here and call it daily journal. And then let's create another folder inside this and call that 2021, which is the year right now. So we put that in here. And then inside 2021, we put the month. And I like to put numbers in addition to the month so that the dates are arranged sequentially. So let's start with 03 March. Okay, we put that in 2021. The second thing that you need to do is you need to go to the settings, co plugins, and you need to turn on a few of the plugins. The first one that you should turn on is the daily notes. So daily notes on, templates on, and random notes on. For this video, I'll just talk about the daily notes, but for templates and random notes, I will talk about why they're important in another video. And if you want to be notified when that happens, you know what to do. Now that we have turned on the daily note, what we need to do is to create a folder for templates. And this is where you create your template for the daily journal. It's important to have some sort of template or some sort of prompt for your daily journal so that at least you have an idea, some sort of structure of what to do when you sit down at the end of the day or in the beginning of your day to start journaling. It's fine to start with a blank screen if that's what you prefer, but I like to have a little structure. I don't even have to answer all the prompts every day, but just knowing that I have a prompt gives me an idea of what to talk about each day. So let's start with creating a new file and we will rename this as daily prompt and we will drag that into templates. And here you write what your prompts are. So for this, I'll just copy and paste the prompts that I use for my own journaling, but you can use whatever prompt you want. Copy, paste. Now that you have a template for a daily prompt, we need to go back to the settings, go to the daily notes, and select a location where we want Obsidian to get our daily prompts from. And it's in this folder, like slash templates, template slash daily prompt. Excellent. And here we select where we want the new daily files to go. Yeah, we can put them in daily journal, daily journal to two, one, two, two, daily journal March, which is the current month that is right now. So that's done. And now over here, we have open today's note. And when you just click that, we have a new note, which is in March right here. And it says Monday, 15th March, 2021, which is today. And you already have your prompt here. What happened yesterday? What happened? What happened yesterday? Was something significant that happened today? What am I anxious about? What am I grateful for today? And what am I excited about? And then on top here, we have the mood, which is what I use to track the general moods or like the series of moods that I felt during the day. So it's usually not just like one thing, there are like a series of things and I just use tags. I just use tags to cover that. So I can be like excited and happy, but also at some point I was anxious about something and then let's say sad, yeah, well, why not? And then what happened yesterday is a recap of the day before, but in a linear sense. So it's a story that starts from when I wake up to when I go to sleep. And I like doing it this way because after a day, I sort of have a better perspective on the things that happened and also how one thing impacted the other. Then the next thing is something significant that happened. 
And in this part, I only write about significant things. So maybe today is the day that I finally asked that person out, or today is the day that I finally submitted this project, or today is the day that I got my admission letter from wherever. So basically the important things that happened today, the significant things, I write about them here. The things that I'm anxious about, I'm usually anxious about something, but if I'm not, I just take it out, but I write about that here. Things I'm grateful for, this I always write something because some days are terrible and I don't find something, but there's been like a lot of studies about keeping a gratitude journal and that is kind of how I want to end my day because I usually journal at night before I go to sleep and ending with gratitude and excitement is like ending at a high note. And I like to go to sleep with the thing that I'm excited about the most the next day. And uh, yeah, let, let me just write a little thing so that uh, you, you get an idea. So this already is like fine and you can just roll with this. This is how it would look like. Uh, these are the tags and this is what you wrote. But one of the advantages of using Obsidian is that you can go through this and tag things that are important, like things that you think would be recurring so that you can track how they appear across time. And for example, the people from Reykjavik, for example, it's just like, okay, maybe I have a team of people that I work with in Reykjavik. So you just use double brackets and now Obsidian knows to remember people from Reykjavik. Sandy, it's also important because maybe I hang out with my friend Sandy a lot. So let's do that. My boss, Samuel, we should also tag Samuel or we can also tag my boss, Samuel, to differentiate it with different Samuels. Okay, so now we have tagged everything and now Obsidian knows what these things are and it will help you track them later. So, another thing I want to say is that what if you forgot to write yesterday and you only generated, you just generated today's post, but actually this is, all this happened on Sunday. That is fine, you just rename this from the 15th, it becomes the 14th. You change this to Sunday to the 14th and then you have yesterday's and you can generate a new one for today and if you're writing today's and you want the app to remember the things that you wrote about the day before you just put the double brackets and you, you have these so it's just like okay, people from Reykjavik called yesterday and And yeah, that is your new posts. And now let me show you the graph, which is where the magic happens. So if you go to the graph view, so the days are not connected to each other directly, but you talked about reading on both days, you talked about Zara on both days, you talked about people from Reykjavik, and the more you write, the more the graph grows, the more connections you can see, and then the more you can learn from that. So all you have to do now is just wait for tomorrow, then come back here and open today's note and it will be Tuesday and then you write. I recommend that you try this out for at least three weeks. The first week is for you to get used to the platform because it's new and there's usually resistance when trying new things. The second week is to actually focus on journaling now that you know how the platform works. And the third week is for you to know if the system is working for you. I really believe that Obsidian can be a very powerful app for journaling. But if you don't want to go through the hassle of setting things up and maintaining it as you go along, I've made another video that will help you choose the right journaling app for you. So you can check that out after this. Meanwhile, if you have any questions whatsoever, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do my best to help you out. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.